Hello YouTubers, Paul coming at you from Alaska and uh, Wild River Custom Knives. Um, I wanted to show you a rifle I built. Uh, I built an AR. Um, I'm going to talk about the good stuff and the bad stuff. So, good stuff. I started out with a uh, Anderson 80% lower that I purchased from Brownells in uh, 7075T6 aluminum. And um, I have a mill, so I used my mill to finish out the lower. Came out perfect. Couldn't be happier. Um, I didn't know I want to anodize it or anything. I, I, it, it wasn't anodized, so um, I just bought special primer for aluminum, uh, spray painted it, and uh, put a little uh, Spartan head on there. Thought that was kind of cool. So <clears throat> next thing I needed was a uh, lower parts kit for that. Uh, I had a um, gift uh, certificate to Cabela's. I was in Cabela's one day and I saw they had lower parts kits by Bushmaster. And I thought, well, Bushmaster, that's Remington, that ought to be, ought to be pretty good. So uh, I went ahead and purchased that. And then I started looking online for my upper and upper parts kits and, and all of that. And I found a place called, and I want to say it's pronounced Go Armory. Um, G-E-A-U-X Armory on the web and at www.geauxarmory.com Anyway, I went under and they had parts kit they had that you could buy a complete uh, fully assembled upper and what I wanted to do was um, there's stuff there that I, I, I didn't want so um, I didn't want their lower parts kit any of that uh, because I wanted to get a trigger from them too so what I did was I purchased everything kind of separately and what I got was their their uh, upper with a uh, uh, free floated key mod handguard the barrel is a bear claw 18 inch it's in 223 wild um, it's stainless steel spiral fluted and melanite coated um, mid-length gas system uh, with a low profile gas block um, Mill spec buffer kit, um, an MPI tested M16 bolt carrier uh, group, uh, charging handle, and the barrel came with an A2 flash hider on it. I also purchased a Trident straight um, three pound trigger, which I'm real happy with. Um, and so uh, I purchased that stuff and it came uh, immediately in the mail. I mean, it was, it was pretty quick. So I get the Bushmaster parts kit opened up and um, I'm assembling my lower and I realized that it's missing the bolt catch button or bolt release button, whatever you want to call it. And so I called Bushmaster and told him, hey, I got this parts kit and it's missing the bolt catch. And so uh, they said, oh, no problem. Give us your mailing address and we'll send you one. So. I waited and waited and waited and I believe it was six weeks before this showed up in the mail. Um, that was that was not cool. I wasn't happy. So anyway, I go to put the lower parts kit together and uh, <clears throat> when I put my new trigger in, the trigger would not function. And so I called Trident Triggers and they said, uh, check the, uh, the safety. The bar is probably out of spec and they gave me what the measurements that the spec should be and so I measured it and sure enough it was out of spec it would work with the crappy Bushmaster trigger but it wouldn't work with this fine trigger and so um, I sat with uh, I've got uh, diamond files small diamond files and I sat with a diamond file and filed and filed and filed until I got it within spec and it worked fine so uh, it's a single stage trigger and it, it works great. Uh, three pound trigger. So then, uh, also what I did was I did the, uh, the um, uh, black RTV sealant uh, at the charging handle to create the, the, uh, the gas buster. Um, the, the optics that I put on it, this is a Weaver uh, 1.5 to 6 by 32 with a lighted reticle. Um, I had this laying around. Um, I wanted some eye relief here. So uh, I went on uh, 
eBay and I purchased this to cheap bikini mount rail uh, uh, scope mount and it wouldn't fit the scope so I took it out to my mill and trimmed it and made it fit and I also picked up one of these uh, um, three port competition uh, muzzle brakes and uh, it works good um, anyway also uh, this is the uh, predator um, buttstock I chose that um, and it works good you know I, I don't need anything special um, but that works good so all in all it was a great experience I can't say enough good about go armory um, the rifle shoots fantastic um, I shot a crap load of cheap ammo nothing uh, steel cased I will not shoot steel cased ammunition in my guns um, but I did shoot uh, different uh, brands of factory ammunition but this thing loves my hand loads with the uh, um, 60 grain Hornady V Maxis uh, it'll, it'll drop them in one right on top of the other anyway thanks for watching um, if you if you decide that you you want to go this route I, I guess I wouldn't recommend unless you have a mill or you have buddies that have the jigs uh, making milling out your own receiver it's uh, time-consuming um, and when you add up what it costs you to do it if you don't own that equipment uh, it's cheaper to buy a, uh, a pre-made lower but um, I had a blast doing this thanks for checking it out I love shooting it um, we'll uh, we'll check you later go ahead and, and uh, look me up on Facebook at Wild River Custom Knives and Scrimshaw um, on the web www.wildriverscrimshaw.webs.com and uh, on Instagram at Wild River Scrimshaw and Custom Knives. Anyway, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.